This video covers how to upload your SketchUp model to Sapphira's web application. You will need to have your Sapphira plugin installed, and you should be sure to run through the model checklist to make sure the geometry is being properly interpreted. You can find another video on the modeling checklist. Once your model looks ready to go, simply click the Upload to Sapphira button, and then click Continue to Sapphira. This will open your default web browser. If you're not already signed in, you may be prompted to log in. You'll then be directed to a screen with several choices. What you see on the screen depends on your Sapphire subscription. If you have access to Sapphire systems, as I do, then you'll see an option to create a new project in Sapphire systems, or add this model to an existing project. If you have a Sapphire Architecture subscription, then this top button will say Sapphire Architecture instead. Let's go ahead and set up a new project. We'll need to enter some basic information to get started. We'll call this a sample project. Certain plugin settings will be imported along with the model geometry, but other settings will be different. So let's go through them. The first item here, the location, will automatically be pulled from whatever you set up in the plugin. Of course, you can change it here as well. The basic building type will be the same one that you selected from the plugin. However, the space type will return to its default settings. That means that if you had adjusted the lighting power density, uh, equipment power density, or ventilation in the plugin, those settings will return back to the defaults and we'll need to adjust them again once we get into the web application. Finally, the envelope settings that you defined in the plugin, things like the wall, R values, and properties of the windows, will be imported along with the geometry. One final note about the inputs uh, between the plugin and web app. The default zoning in the plugin is different from that in the web app. The default in the plugin is one zone per floor, and the default in the web application is perimeter core zoning. That may yield small differences in results, and the reason for that is um, the difference in use cases between the two, whereas the plugin is mainly for very early stage uh, massing comparisons, the web application is for more detailed analysis uh, that requires at least perimeter core zoning. Then you cr click Create New Project. And that's it. Your model is now in the web application and ready for analysis.